Good evening humans, Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Darth Maul Sith Apprentice. I've always loved this look for Darth Maul, and overall as a figure, I think they kind of knocked this one out of the park, so without further ado, let's do this. Speaking about aesthetics first, uh, Darth Maul here just looks really, really good. I think they nailed everything about this particular look for the character, and just everything's well proportioned, the paint is great. Uh, Speaking more specifically on it, I'll take the accessory out here and uh, just looking at the figure itself, starting with the likeness and just like, what a great rendition. I mean, that looks real, honestly. The Just in person, it looks like it stares right through your soul. I love it. Um, not only that, oh, point of a uh, point worth mentioning is that the plastic up here is hard. So these are very sharp. So as you're manipulating the head, that's going to come into play. So just be careful. <laughs> I don't know if it could draw blood, but I'm not gonna try it. Um, but beyond that, like paint, super, super clean. Uh, same with the body. I think the only like real detail missing here is that I think there's supposed to be black on his hands somewhere, whether it's the back or the palms, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it doesn't really detract at all. And I understand why they didn't do that. Not only that, like the silhouette just looks right. They nailed it in terms of proportion and stuff like that. I think the bottom is reuse. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know for sure. I don't have a lot of, of black series. And uh, for Darth Maul, this is honestly the, the version of the character I was waiting for. So I don't have the older ones. Um, but I believe the legs are from the original version, which uh, I, I think is why it's missing a point of articulation that I'll get into in that section. Uh, but beyond that, You've got this overlay, which doesn't get in the way of articulation. The legs look really nice. The details in the boots are awesome. Um, it's not gonna come across real well on camera just due to them being glossy, but you can kind of see it there. I mean, they, they look sturdy, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, just all around super, super solid. When it comes to accessories, Darth Maul doesn't come with a lot, but then again, he doesn't need to. All he really needs is the lightsaber. Uh, the only thing I could think of that I would want is, you know, some extra hands, but don't we want that with all these figures? Um, but, you know, with that being said, uh, the lightsaber is super well done. Uh, really nice silver for the, the handle. Uh, you got the, the nice details in there. Uh, it looks accurate as far as I can tell. You know, you get the little red on the buttons. So really nicely done. As you can tell, uh, as you can see here, I'm gonna try to this on camera and it's not gonna, there we go. Uh, <laughs> it both uh, plugs into each other and you can take it apart. So it's two separate things. Not only that, but the lightsaber blades. Is it right to call them blades? That feels weird. <laughs> um, but in any event, they come out. <laughs> so you can have just the hilt. And not only that, but you can see this little peg right here on Darth Maul himself. He has this little port and you can plug that in right here, if I can get it to work. There you go. And it works right there. So lots of options with the very, with this one accessory. So that gets a two thumbs up from me. Overall, the articulation here is really nice. And there's only a couple things I have some minor, 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 minor gripes with, and I'll touch on those as I get to them. So breaking this down, we'll get the accessories out of the hands first, just so we have more space to uh, manipulate here. So starting with the head, we got that nice double joint in the neck as we've been getting with the Black Series lately. So ball hinge at the top, and I think just ball, probably a ball joint at the bottom, but that gives you like side to side, that gives you basically like full rotation, which is really, really nice. Coming down to the shoulders, we do get butterfly joints, but they're so minor, they, I don't know, I don't, I, I think they could have done just as well without them. So, but that's just me. And arms come up out here, so you can definitely hit your T-pose. We have single jointed elbows um, with some decent range. You know, you get you get to 90 and you get your swivel there since there's no bicep swivel. Then you come to the wrist and you get your swivel and your hinge, uh, only horizontal, no vertical, unfortunately. Then one of my favorite parts is we get a ball joint at the diaphragm. So that gives you all this sort of range. That's where you're gonna get your twist um, so that's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, nothing, nothing, at the hip, nothing at the hips proper. So you're gonna get all your rotation and all that movement from there, which is absolutely fine. Your splits, 
not too great, decent, like serviceable, but not not what you would hope for for Darth Maul, like someone who's a little more athletic. You do get a uh, thigh swivel. You get double jointed knees, which are gonna bring you to about there because of how baggy the pants are. Uh, my other point, or the, the other like small gripe I have with the articulation, I think this again is because this is reuse, is there's no boot cut and that would have done wonders. There's a few poses I just can't seem to hit because I don't, I can't move this. So that is what it is. But super nice point with some really, really nice forward and of course some pivot and that's articulation. Looking into some size comparisons, here he is with some other Black Series figures. Here he is with some other Hasbro stuff. Here he is with some SH figure arts and Storm collectibles. Here he is with some monsters. Finally, here he is with an Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on Darth Maul is that this is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best Black Series figures. Um, again, I don't have a lot, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. It's also like, I, I like the Black Series, but it's definitely not the main line I carry. I definitely just go for characters I think that like look cool or I had some connection to, but I totally think this is up there with the Deluxe Boba Fett that just came out earlier this year. So, like, if you like Darth Maul, if you like the comics, if you just like Sith characters, then absolutely pick this up. I believe it's still up on Hasbro Pulse, and I think it might be an exclusive. Actually, I'm probably wrong, because I think GameStop was also carrying this. So, probably fan channel. Um, so, I'll put links up in the description. Regardless of where you can get this, I'll give you options, because, you know, support various places and go to your, wherever you like to pick stuff up. Um, though I won't link to Amazon uh, because I have issues with them, <laughs> as I think most people should, but that is beside the point. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it informative. Uh, I aim to hopefully get like at least the basic info and hopefully just whatever you're looking for out of like whether you're shopping or you just kind of want to see the figure on display. I hope I have fulfilled that need. So that being said, if you did enjoy it or you were entertained, please uh, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, and please subscribe. Uh, I, I do do some Black Series reviews. I do Marvel Legends reviews. I do um, uh, Lightning Collection, uh, Power Rangers reviews, because that's the main line that I collect. I also just branch off into other stuff, uh, some wrestling figures and stuff like that. So if you are interested in any of those, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit the double digits this year. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm in double digits, triple digits. Uh, it's late at night, y'all. So, you know, if you liked it, please subscribe. And uh, if you really, really liked it and you want to find other ways to support the channel, I will have those in the description as well. So that being said, um, please take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.